A new school policy in Washington County is taking cell phones out of the classroom. The Ringgold School District is now prohibiting students from using cell phones at school or anywhere on district property. They say it's to help cut down on fighting and cyberbullying. KDK's Erica Stanish is in Washington County right now with reaction from parents. Erica. Once the school year begins on Monday, cell phones will not be allowed in classrooms, locker rooms, bathrooms, or even on the school bus. And if a student is caught using one, the district says they will face a penalty. The kids go to school to learn, so they don't need that distraction. In a world full of technology, students at Ringgold School District will be following a new policy this year that doesn't include cell phones. My granddaughter is uh, 16. She goes to the high school. Um, she does have a cell phone. Um, I would like her to have it in school, but do I think it should be open in the classrooms? No. According to the district, national statistics show 20% of cyberbullying incidents happen on cell phones while kids are at school. They say those interactions lead to school fights, saying there were 56 criminal incidents at their schools last year where students were communicating on their phones to plan fights, harass other students, or vandalize property. In a release to parents, they said the new no phone policy is an effort to curb recent trends. Some parents we talked to say they're on the fence about it, especially if there was an emergency. There's so much going on in this world. If something really did happen, it would be, I would be happy if my grandkid had a phone and she could pick it up and say, you know, there's a shooter or there's somebody here that doesn't belong here. That way they can easily dial 911 too. Just but some agree it's best not to have them in the classroom. They need to, the book learning, the education, and they need to, um, you know, be able to concentrate on that. The district says if a student is caught with a phone once, it will be confiscated, their parents will be called, and they'll get a verbal warning. A second offense includes detention. Any time after that, it's detention and the student's phone will have to be submitted daily to the front office. The district says this is the best way to ensure a safe and secure environment, both for students and teachers at the district. To learn more about this policy, you can head to our website, kdka.com. In Washington County, Erica Stanish, KDK News.